Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the latest edition of Tuesday Talks, but it's on a Thursday. <laughs> yeah, it's been a little crazy around the church building here. We are in the middle of a renovation process of doing some floors and painting around the building, and so everything was a little messed up at the beginning of this week, so I still wanted to come to you and bring our Tuesday Talks, even if it is on Thursday. You know, while we're doing this renovation around the building, you know, we've, we've been here at this location since November 2005, I believe. So about 16 and a half years we've been in this building. And, and you know, after a building has been around for a little while, you know, there, there are cracks that will show because the building will start settling a little bit. We have some nicks and dings on the wall because the building is used nearly every day of the week, especially with our early learning center in the back with our kids. We've got wonderful kids that are here. And, you know, I look at those as kind of, battle scars. There, you know, it shows that the building's being used. It shows that, that we're trying to do things for God and his kingdom. And it reminded me of a passage in which Paul compares us to jars of clay. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 7, he says, you're like these earthen vessels, these, these uh, clay pots, if you will. And you know what clay pots are good for? Cracking, uh, missing little pieces here and there, showing their scars. And it's interesting that he compares us to that because he says we have this treasure, this light of Jesus that shines forth in these jars of clay, in these cracks, in these holes. And, you know, you and I have battle scars as well. Life does that to us. Sometimes they're, you know, quite honestly, they're choices that we made and sometimes maybe not the best choices. And then sometimes they happen because... We live in this world and other people do things to us or we're just part of this world and things just happen. But the beauty of that is that it's within those scars, it's within those cracks and in those little pieces that God tells his story through you, through your life. We were talking about this last night, in fact, here at, at church within our Bible study class was how God uses us and we each have a story in which we can tell. And God uses those cracks, he uses those scars because those scars and those, those cracks, those pieces are what shape us. They what, they're what mold us into who we are. They give us our personality. They give us uh, why we act the way we act. They, they give us why we've come to God and, and how God uses us. And it's so amazing that God uses those stories to help other people. Now, I know some of you are probably watching this and you say, well, John... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if God can use me. I've got a lot of cracks. In fact, my clay pot, it's a, it's a bunch, it's a mess. It's a bunch of pieces. I want to remind you just for a second that God used people who were drunk, that God used prostitutes, that God used adulterers. He used murderers. He even used people who persecuted the church to be his messenger because it's within those cracks and those broken pieces that God uses grace and the blood of Jesus to put us back together to be able to shine that light forth for all to see. And we become a living, breathing gospel message about what God can do in your life and in your story of what you can tell. The biggest story of grace that we have. Paul was a walking, talking, breathing story of grace, how he was a persecutor of the church one day and he was a preacher the next. And in fact, he says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10, it's by God's grace I am what I am. And that's why he could write that we are jars of clay, but we have this treasure that God uses. And so if you're sitting there this morning and you're watching this and you're saying, well, maybe I'm ready to make a change. I'm ready to do something different. I'm ready. Let me tell you something. God can put your life back together. And we would love to be that help. We would love to help you in that. You can reach out to me at john at calhounchurchofchrist.com. You can call us. You can reach out to the person who posted this, who, who liked it and shared it. We want you to know that God loves you. We love you. And that all of us together have this story this gospel story about what God can do to normal people just like you and me and that God can change the world through you and through your life. I hope that you have a wonderful day. I hope that uh, your weekend is great. We would love to see you here at the Calhoun Church of Christ this Sunday morning for worship. And we will see you next Tuesday for Tuesday Talks.